Alright, <clears throat> welcome back to Shave with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi y'all. So I don't always do two videos in a row. Yesterday was Saturday, today's Sunday I'm going into work. And uh, I think I fixed the phone this time where it don't take that plunge at the end of the video. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, uh, you know, the old iPhone. It's a uh, 10R decided to go for a cliff dive or something like that. Wasn't that freaky? Yeah, that was pretty freaky. But anyway, so today, this, uh, the reason I'm doing another video is because tonight I want to post uh, about using one of the new brushes I got. Uh, it was given to me, gifted to me. And uh, I've always said that uh, small brushes do the job very well. And I've got some smaller bore brushes. And uh, I've used them before so that, uh, you know, I, I know that they would do good. Well, this is a small badger brush. And this is a Whitting and Adams from Boston is what it says on the bottom. I don't know if that's the original knot or if it's been re-knotted with a small badger or whatever it is, but this is a really neat little brush. This is one of the ones that I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to keep the Brad Sears and the others that came in are going to be gifted out. Uh, but anyway, really nice looking knot. I've cleaned it up. It's in good shape. I uh, got a little soak time in. <clears throat> so I wanted to see how good we do uh, with a small small badger. Now I'm expecting it to do very well. I'll tell you from the start, that's uh, look at that, put a little light on the moon. I'm expecting that to be what happens. Uh, so for a soak today, I had already dug through and decided that I was gonna use the Mitchells, the wolf bat. I haven't used it in a while. And uh, I just noticed that the, uh, the bottom of the little container it's in here is cracked. So I had to find, this is a really cheap little container. I'll have to find a, uh, I'll have to find another container, but that's okay, it just so happens. I got plenty around and the Mitchells is worth putting into a container and keeping it a really, really nice soap in my opinion. So actually the start of the show today is going to be the brush. Like I said, uh, we're not going to do a whole lot of talking and ranting and stuff like we normally do. Just get the video of the brush so that we can use it. But I decided to grab the little old 1907 ish, uh, Jim Jr. Here. And, uh, that's not a Jim Jr. This is an ever ready 1907 ever ready. Excuse me. I'm so used to the Jim Jr. Bars. It's got uh, what I've always assumed was the original little wood handle. It's got some damage to the handle, but it still works really well. And I love using the original handle. It's got a brand new treat blade in it that uh, I can still pick these up local, either in the little tin blade vault or uh, in a little, uh, you know, five pack. So I can pick those up local. So that's really neat in my book. So that's what we're going to do and uh, see how the little brush does. So we don't do anything different. I was watching... Uh, Mr. Guy, a video he did yesterday, and either I do it the same way he does it, he does it the same way I do it, or it's just a really good technique so people know what they're doing, do it that way, which is probably what it is. Start with a, a fairly dry brush, and what you're looking at is you want to build the paste up onto the brush, and then from that paste, you face slather it the way gold intended. Gold made bowls for cereal and oatmeal and soup and that sort of thing. Dog food works good in a bowl. He did not make bowls to lather in. Face lather, boys and girls. Face lather. All righty. So, as usual, the Mitchells is just working up great. I mean, people I hear complain about Mitchells just like they complain about Williams and complain about Marvies. I understand complaining about Marvies. However, it will give you a good shave. And if you ever really want a challenge, I mention this every once in a while, if you want a real lather challenge, Sally's Beauty Supply had something called Scout Master. I need to do a Scout Master shave before long. You talk about a challenge to lather. Now that stuff is what people normally say uh, Williams is. Yeah, that, that stuff's rough. It's even worse than Marby's if you can believe that. And Marby's is pretty rough in itself, ain't it? All righty, well let's get the old face wipe down here. We'll see how the little brush does with the Mer Mitchells. We're not using Marby's today, we're using Mitchells. And we're going to get cleaned up to go to work and sometime tonight after the video uploads. Hopefully it'll upload tonight and I can get it done tonight. So as you can see already, oh, this little brush feels nice. It's got a, it doesn't have as much backbone as uh, some of my brushes does. But, you know, I've got several brushes that don't have a lot of backbone and they still do pretty good. 
I mean, it, it, what are you after with lather? Are you after buttercream where you want to go and have mountains of lather that are just wasted and swinging everywhere and not really needed? Or you, do you need what you need to get the job done? I want a nice, dense, slick layer so that my razor slides and it carries the cuttings away. And my face feels good. Mitchell's is very good for that. It's one of those soaps that if it was a soap that I had to use all the time, I probably wouldn't have a whole lot of problem with that. I'm lucky enough, fortunate enough that I've got a lot of different soaps. Some I've bought over the years, some have been given to me. Some I've traded for, won in contests or whatever, giveaways. Look at that. There ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Not at all. You know, let me try to adjust something real quick. I'm hoping this doesn't mess anything up. The, uh, I need to see if I can make that stay. Well, that's a little bit better. I really don't like the way the camera's sitting. I might have to do something different. But anyway, when I was using my uh, 7 Plus to make them, it had a case on it. It fit better than this 10R does. So maybe if I get a case for the 10R, maybe that'll work. Anyway, so 1907-ish ER. Ever ready? It's got some scroll work on the back and stuff like that. I haven't particularly cleaned the patina off of it a whole lot. You know, I keep it clean so that it's not going to infect me with anything if I, you know, slice myself or whatever. But uh, anyway, brand new blade, and it's always such a good feel to go through. Now, this particular one has a pretty good blade feel to it. Very uh, efficient feeling. We're just going to start, a lot of times I'll start up on the cheeks tonight, we're going to start down on the neck. No real reason why. But what I am doing, normally most of that under there, I would have turned around and went the other way on. Like that. So we actually did some uh, more or less uh, against the green right under there, just because it was feeling good in the way it goes. Sometimes you just adjust the technique without even noticing you adjust it. Everything just feels good. It's like uh, I've seen videos of people doing taxi tests on airplanes. And all of a sudden they decide, well, let's just get it off the ground a little bit. Now sometimes that's accidental and it's a big surprise to everybody, especially the pilot. But you know, oh well. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. All right, second pass. Now, there is still plenty of lather right there in that little old brush. Now, if you've got really huge hands, I could see where a little brush, same thing I say about using a shorter razor handle. If you've got really big mitts, I could see where a little brush may give you some problems. You may some, need something with a little more help because you're going to feel like you're holding a matchstick between your fingers. Okay, I'll go for that. But overall... I mean, I'm not doing anything different from what I normally do. I'm just lathering. Got a nice slate of going. Boy, this brush does feel good. I do believe that uh, I will be, as I said before, I think I'll be hanging on to this one. We'll see how it goes. My favorite little brush is a little Ever Ready that I have. And it's a little bore brush, but it's the... Uh, cracking and coming apart and I'm surprised that the old knot hadn't fallen out of it yet but that has definitely been one of my favorite little brushes and I think I'm gonna if it's uh I put it up for a while to see if the cracking would stabilize if it would quit splitting and I haven't checked it in a while if it has I'll probably just fill the cracks with something some epoxy or JB weld or something and see if I can get it where I can keep using it for a while longer What a nice shave. It, you know, brand new blade and a really nice lather catcher. And these lather catchers are so nice to shave with. If you haven't got one, I highly recommend it. But I realize that a lot of people on, especially eBay, they, they take the lather catcher and they assume that means they can get a whole lot of money for it. And, yeah, they're so expensive, it's not even funny. I mean, I love the ladder catchers. 
I think they could could have quit making razors when they got to the lather catcher stage here and everything would have been just fine. I mean, look, things a little work of art. But uh, I don't think they're worth a whole lot more money than particularly other razors. But that's a personal feeling. All right. Get some of the old Mitchells wiped off here. Now, the thing I noticed after using the Mitchells is that, uh, you know, face feels good, landling and all. I don't worry too much about moisturizing and all, but also I don't work outside as much as I used to either. But there we go. So let's get dried off and have a quick look. Now this was just a one day, cause you know, I shaved about this time yesterday. So uh, it was just a one day growth, which is, oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Very, very, very nice. Love that feel. So let's get a little witch hazel going here and we'll finish up. So uh, I stick to my assertion that a uh, small brush definitely can get the job done. I know people have uh, had gravitated towards a large brush. We've talked about that. I've got that big maggards, what is it, the 36 millimeter that's uh, the mixed brush, mixed bore and, and badger and biggest brush I own and it's definitely too big. But uh, I'm not getting rid of it or anything. I still enjoy using it. I'm just not going to probably buy any more like it. And this little brush is on the very small end of things. All righty. I probably don't need to actually do that much touch up, but I love using these razors. And of course, the more you go over something, the more you risk irritation and all. So, you know, get the job done, move along. Move along, little doggy. Move along. Anyway. All right. So there we go with the shade. We're going to pop on a little bit of the, uh, this is Pinald citrus musk that I have in this little glass bottle. And I will assert again, it don't smell no different in a glass bottle than in the plastic. I just like having glass bottles. Alrighty. See there, I got a little bit more sting than I normally get right down here on my neck. I don't see the irritation particularly. Don't feel anything, but I did have a little more sting. So uh, you gotta be careful with these razors that uh, have a good lot of blade feel that you're not sitting there going over and over and over in an area and cause yourself problems. If you do, that's generally your own fault. But anyway, yep, yeah, well let's get the soap out of this little brush. I ought to rinse out pretty easy here. So Whitting and Adams is the name on the bottom of the brush. Whiting, I don't know, Whiting, Whitting, whichever it is. Uh, when I put the, uh, when I post the uh, video and put up the report, the review over at uh, Toast 3, T-O-S-T 3, the number three, altogether.com. Uh, I'll have a picture of the name of it and everything. But it is a beautiful little brush. Let's dry it out a little bit here. Now, Drying brushes, don't be scared to get in there and twist them around and dry a brush out. I know there's people that holler, oh, you're not supposed to be doing so commotion. You're not supposed to be doing that. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to do the other. What I'm going to do first is get all the soap out of the brush. I was sitting here running my mouth. Didn't even have all the soap out of the middle of the brush. Huh. Yeah, like that. All right, well, let's try that again. Now, back to what I was talking about. I hear people all the time talking about you. You don't need to be doing swirly motion with brushes and this manufacturer says this and this manufacturer says that. Poppycock, also known as horse feathers. Take that brush and you dry it out after you get the rinse and you put it up to dry and you won't have any problem with it at all. Look at that beautiful little knot right there, little bulb. So anyway, little brushes. I'm, I'm okay with little brushes. I think it's, uh, I think I like a smaller brush better than a really big brush, personally. Again, that's my thing. What do y'all think? All right, well, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go out and put in another 12 hours at work. Then I'm going to take some days off and, uh, you know, be running into my short week. All right, well, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shades to you. Let's remember the world is crazy these days. Don't be part of the craziness. Sounds complicated, don't it? It's not. Do not be part of the craziness, and the craziness will eventually go away. That's how it works. All righty. Y'all take care. We'll talk to you next time. Later. Well, I could have turned the phone off before I did that, huh? Yeah. In the video. That way you're not sitting. Ooh. Okay. Later, guys.